Season 1, Episode 14, The Fortune Teller. Sick. Yo, he's doing tricks. Why do you look at me like that? Ooh. What are <laughs> not tangled, woven? I made you an necklace, Katara. Oh, that's nice. Your other one. That's cute. Thanks, Aang. I love it. Great, Aang. Maybe instead of saving the world, you can go into the jewelry making business. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to work. So, how do I look? Oh. <laughs> All of you or just your neck? I mean, you both look great. Bros crushing hard. That's funny. That is funny. It's funny because like, well, that's probably how he normally sees her anyways, but it's just funny that as soon as she put on the necklace, it's like <laughs> I well stop teasing him, Sokka. Aang's just a good friend. Ooh, a got friend zoned. Just like Momo. Rough. Well, hello there. Seems to be handling himself very well. Make noise or run off. No, play dead. He'll lose interest. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> run down hill, then climb a tree. No, punch no. him in the belt. Aang Okay. It's going to be fine. Whoa there. <laughs> That's not right. safe journey. You were almost killed. But I wasn't. No, he wasn't. He also handled himself very well. He was like very swift, elegant movements, like dodging every attack. Like he totally was handling it fine. A good one. Oh, and Apu said if I met any travelers to give them this. Okay. Mysterious. Wow. No, it doesn't. You can't really tell the future. I guess you're not really getting wet then. It's going to keep drizzling. It's gonna stop, watch. <laughs> not everyone has the gift, Sokka. My name is Nang, and I'm Aunt Wu's assistant. Oh, I was gonna say you're super young. Look how fed up he is, by the way. He does not want to be here. Okay, so he's like fawning over Katara, and now she is over him. We're gonna have a huge love triangle here. Well, not really, because none of them actually like each other. <laughs> In that way. Thanks. Don't be modest. They're huge. Well, Aang, it's very nice to meet you. Very nice. Likewise. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we're here in the house of nonsense. Don't wiggle to your toes like that at me, dude. <laughs> there are things in this world that just can't be explained. Wouldn't it be nice to have some insight into your future? It would be nice to have some bean curd. It would be nice if Saka put his dogs away, dude. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> Really? Does that mean that's actually going to happen? Enjoy your snack. Welcome, young travelers. Katara's picked up on it. Don't be shy. I guess 
that's me. Do you see anything interesting in my love life? I feel great romance with you. The man you're going to marry. Tell me more. I can see that he's a very powerful bender. It's not him. No, it's not. Bro, celebrating too early. You need to listen in on the rest of the conversation. Looks like someone had a pretty good bathroom break. Yeah, when I was in there. He didn't even listen to the whole thing. Who's next? Okay, let's get this over with. Your future is full of struggle and anguish. Wow. Most of it is self inflicted. That makes sense. Wait, you didn't read my palms or anything. I don't need to. She can just tell. Didn't even give him a chance. <laughs> the most reliable method of telling your future. Hmm. Wow, that's a big crack. I've never seen this before. Well, I mean, the legacy he's coming from and everything he has to do to fulfill his prophecy is kind of a big deal, so I can imagine you've never seen anything like this before. <gasps> oh wow. Yikes. <laughs> I believe it. An awesome conflict between the forces of good and evil. A battle whose outcome will determine the fate of the whole world. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I knew that already. But <laughs> I like how he's, he's not even bothered by that because like I already know the world's gonna end and I need to find a huge battle. Just tell me who I'm gonna end up with. That is really funny to me. But I didn't see anything. Oh, that's sad. Oh look. I must have missed something. Is she gonna make it up? Right here. It says trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. Really? Thank you, Aunt Wu. She made that up. Well, <laughs> He's gonna. <sighs> I have a feeling he's gonna start hitting on her or something, just acting very different. And she's not gonna reciprocate because he didn't listen to the entire fortune. And it's clearly. He's clearly not the one in her future at all. I'm just pointing that out right now. That's definitely what's gonna happen. He brings catastrophe on himself that every waking moment. Well, I liked my predictions. I hope that's not a bunny. The bunny bunny cloud will cast doom and destruction. Oh, that's nice. Can you even hear yourself? The cloud reading will tell us if Mount Makaku will remain dormant for another year or if it will erupt. We used to have a tradition once a year of going up the mountain to check the volcano ourselves. But ever since Aunt Wu moved to the village 20 years ago, we have a tradition because she's just good at predicting. Oh my gosh. Going down the line. This is really funny. The village will not be destroyed by the volcano this year. Watch Sokka be right. His superstition this entire time and being the only one who's suspicious about it. Watch him end up being right. That would be crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't even put it past this show to pull something like that. Doesn't... dang. That's sad. Sense of them. They seem happy, Sokka. Not for long. I'm gonna prove Uncle 
Whose predictions are not well, to be fair, in his proving that her predictions are nonsense, he's proving that her predictions are correct because of what she said his future would, you know, hold. But maybe he is right. You know, there's an off chance that he could be the only one that's right. Is that enough information for you? He told her her entire life story. Okay, now that she knows her literal entire life story, I have a feeling that Wu is wrong. Because there's no way we're predicting the entire future of this show in this one episode. Not happening. You want me to do a reading for that? Uh, okay. Ew. He doesn't know anything. Well, there's this girl. I think I know who you mean. Mm. And you're okay with it? Of course I am. And to tell you the truth, I've been picking up a subtle vibe that she likes you too. She does? Oh yeah. She's crazy about Talking about the wrong people. Well, how do I do that? The number one mistake nice guys like you make? Being too nice. Could be too nice? Yeah. Not entirely true. Okay. Hey, Aang. I was See you later. <laughs> wow. That kid is good. And you'll be fine as long as you've got a scar. Bye bye now. Okay, okay. But Not really the greatest okay. advice. Alright, what is it? Should I eat a mango? Okay. You're gonna rob them? Nope, okay. That's about to erupt. See, I yep, she's wrong. He was right. Sokka was right. That's crazy. Can you believe she won't let me in? And after all the business I've given her? But she doesn't even care. Yeah, what do you mean business? She literally like uh, <laughs> You're just annoying her. That's why she doesn't want you. <laughs> Get like it happening. Yep. Everyone, that volcano is gonna blow any second. Aunt Wu was wrong. Yeah, yeah, we know you don't believe in Aunt Wu. Look at the mountain. If you won't listen to him, maybe you'll listen to me. I want to believe Aunt Wu and her predictions as much as you do, but my brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. Literally, look at the mountain. Solid. Yeah, exactly. Like, can your science explain why it rains? Yes, yes, it can. <laughs> oh, I guess not. It's okay. It's just really hard when you like someone, but they don't think of you that way. So real. <laughs> that is so real. It's it's unfortunate. Yep, they they're both feeling that way. About different people, which is really interesting, actually. I know what you mean. She's beautiful, by the way. Huh? That water oh. tribe girl. He know she knows. I see why you like her so much. She's sweet, you can defend her, and her hair is so manageable. Don't worry. You're gonna meet a great guy who's gonna completely bowl for you. I know it. Thanks. 
Okay. Oh, thanks. Uh, I guess. Crazy. The clouds are made of water and air. So between the two of us, we ought to be able to bend them into any shape we want. I found it. The symbol for... Ah, that's so clever. I didn't even think about that. That's so clever. A trench. We're going to dig a trench so big that a volcano filled with that, like, I can't even speak. We're going to dig a trench so big that all of that lava that's being held up there is going to avert the village. You know how long that would take? You need earthbenders for that. If any of you are earthbenders, come with me. Never mind. There you I'm go. I'm not. Everybody else grab a Sick. I don't think the shovels are going to help, but the bending will. There you go. Going to make a moat. Yikes. That isn't going to help. Good job. <laughs> what a shot. Yo, that's that's a brilliant shot. Eek. I don't even... I was gonna say... Yeah, I think the village is doomed. You know, I'm going to be completely honest. Even making this moat just to keep it out of the village, I think this is still an awful place to live because it's just going to erupt again at some point. I'm sure the soil is great, but like, no. No. Ooh, the music's kicking in. That's cool. That's cool. Did this make a wall of obsidian? Oh? Maybe they are. Who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. By the way, we kind of... Although, honestly, the volcano erupting kind of disproves everything she said, but maybe some of it's true. Who knows? It wasn't. She was right. Now. Okay, well... I hate you. Yeah. It's okay, Sokka. Everything's gonna be alright. Can I ask you something? Of course, honey. You didn't really see love in my forehead, did you? You just told me what I wanted to hear. I'll yeah. tell you a little secret, young airbender. Just as you <laughs> a little salty. Yeah, none of them really listened to reason, even in the end. I mean, because, you know, the, that one dude was right. Like, technically, the village wasn't destroyed. But yeah, her fortune telling is definitely not to be relied on the entire time. Because I'm like, there's no way we're finding out the entire future of all these characters in this one episode. Because then that would kind of make a lot of the rest of the show redundant. Just knowing what happens. It's like spoilers, you know? But uh, yeah clearly disproven but this was a solid entry i really like this uh more of a side plot sure uh but this was a much better filler episode than that uh one of them trekking through the canyon uh <laughs> i still like that episode though even though everybody universally hates it which i find super funny still but no this was 
solid. I probably the funniest episode too with the whole love thing that was going on. I I thought that was really funny. But you know, you never know. Maybe Katara and Aang will end up together. I don't think so. I I don't really see it happening. But I mean, you never know. You never know. Um. But solid. The action, like when the volcano was erupting, was cool. Like, you know, all the crazy airbending stuff that happened was sick. Um. And yeah, I don't know. For the most part, I just I found this episode really funny. It was super entertaining too. Um, like I said, nothing like big plot heavy happened. It definitely felt like a filler kind of side episode, but I still really enjoyed it. I had a really good time with it. And Sokka was right, but also wrong, but mainly right. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to uh, prove or disprove Wu uh, clearly is a nuanced situation because she was right and wrong. And you can't really argue with someone saying one or the other <laughs> so yeah i don't know but yeah very solid um gives a little bit more insight to our characters especially with the fortune telling even if it's not true it gives a you know decent idea of how the characters think and stuff so i think this was a good character building episode for you know a little crew that we have um but yeah it was fun i i like this episode so yippers anyways uh, I think that's it yeah see you guys in the next one